basically create hundreds of prompts literally in less than a minute. This is like a secret that no one knows about yet. Canva's recent releases are still leaving me in awestruck. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to leverage and use Canva Sheets Thank you. and turn it into a powerful prompt generator. If you don't have Canva Pro, you're missing out, bro. There's a link in the description to try it free for 30 days. And so the first thing you need is just some very basic and generic prompts. And now the start, if you don't have a lot of those, do remember my website, which you see on your screen right here, it has thousands of free prompts. Every single blog post is gonna have amazing prompts and prompt generators. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is head over here into my mega prompts database. Now this one is gonna have basically everything. I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way over to the right hand side because I have a tab called Canva Magic. And as a quick reminder, any prompts shared in videos are always available free via the links in the description. And so today I'm gonna share four specific prompts that you definitely wanna use in Canva Sheets, specifically to what I'm showing you today. I'll show you exactly how to set this up in a second, but here are the other four prompts we're gonna work on. And now the best thing about Canvas Sheets is that you can use AI directly from within Canvas Sheets, but what you're gonna be able to do is basically create hundreds of prompts literally in less than a minute. In fact, it's gonna probably just take seconds. I'll show you all this in real time. Now, notice this right here. I already have a few prompts. This is a Canva Sheets document, okay? It's very easy to set up. And so the way this works is that in my Canva Sheets document right now, I just have some very basic columns set up, okay? My category is dependent upon what sort of prompt that this is gonna be used for. But I have, notice, my original prompt, this is gonna be my very basic and generic prompt. I have a 10X prompt and then a magic prompt. And now over here, I have an actual image. Now, this is all gonna be beautifully done because I have specific prompts that you're gonna wanna use within Canvas Sheets to get tons and tons of prompts. We're gonna have some very basic prompts. Canva AI, I will show you then how it then generates a better prompt than these, but then this magic prompt column actually takes this 10X prompt and now makes this one even better. And then as you go to the right, the prompt gets even more thorough and more detailed detailed. Now this is so fascinating because you're not going to believe how quickly you're going to be able to get so many prompts. Okay, there we go. Now I have all of my columns in here, everything sized correctly. Now the next thing you want to do to make this very simple, you don't have to do it this way, but on the left-hand side, I like to have a category of what sort of prompt this is actually going to be. Now this would be helpful, especially if you do decide to use Canvas Sheets in the future to organize all of your prompts. Now I'm in this cell over here in the very first one underneath category. Now this is where all of the magic is definitely gonna happen. And it lives up here in what is called actions up here at the top. Select actions. Now you're gonna be able to see all of these new AI related things that you can do. Now the first thing we'll do is scroll down to the bottom and now simply select drop down. And now with drop down clicked, it goes and gives us some very basic presets. I'll just select create drop down and now over here in this cell underneath category, there it is. Just select it and I can come in here, it opens up, hit that pencil button to edit it and now just simply type in the specific category. So what we're gonna do next is simply just find a few basic prompts. So what I'm gonna do is come and pick out one of these in this cheat code section right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one to start. Okay, here we go. Now you can see I just have some very basic prompts over here on the left-hand side, okay? We have four in total, which now brings us to a few ways to where we can really turn Canvas Sheets into a powerful prompt generator. And like I said, I'm gonna show you a few different ways and you definitely do want to check these out. Now, the first way is so simple. In fact, it's probably the most simple way and it uses the power of Canva AI or magic, right? Now, the first thing I do want to show you is something that is going to be insanely helpful. Let's say right here in my image column, I have this very first image right here of this lady. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and expand it. You can look at this right here. I want to show you something so incredibly impressive with the power of AI. Let's go ahead and click on this cell. And what I could also do if I wanted to, I could actually hover over every cell all of them or just a few, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and select this very first cell right now. Now with this first cell selected, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and select two cells, the first two cells, so watch this. With these two cells selected, I am now at the very top gonna select a background remover. This is so helpful because I can upload tons of images in here and look at that, look how amazing this worked and how fast. I could upload 10, 20, 30 images in here at once, select all my cells and with 
one click, instantly remove the background from every one of those images. That is gonna be insanely helpful. And look at this, look how good of a job it did, specifically by picking out and separating the subject. That's the original image. Now look at that. I personally do believe this does a better job than Photoshop actually does. Let's go and move on to the next thing. And that's gonna be specifically for making our prompts 10X better. We have these four prompts in here right now. Watch this. Now what we'll do is to the each corresponding column to the right of it underneath 10X prompt, click and drag and select all of these cells right here. With these cells selected, go to actions and now select fill empty cells. That's it, watch. And now right away, look what it's doing right here. It understands what these first prompts are and now it says, okay, instantly, I'm gonna go ahead and make your prompt even better without even you telling me how. If you like all of these, okay, you can look at each one and say, man, those are great. If you like them, select insert. However, you could also select more like this to get version two, or you could say this but. If I selected this but, and I'll show you this in a second, I can say, yeah, I want this, but you can edit the prompts. So first, let me just show you how easy this is. Select insert, and now look. Now, just like that, I take my very basic prompt, and now to the right of that, I get a 10X version, okay? Look, top fashion model, now, high fashion editorial featuring dramatic pose. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna bring this same exact prompt down and duplicate this one for an AI influencer, okay? Now with the same method, click this cell, actions, and now do fill empty cells again. It's gonna go ahead and only apply to the left-hand cell. Now what I'll do is say more like this, and it's gonna go ahead and give me V2 or version two, okay? And now I'm gonna say, okay, this but, now look at this. Now I can modify my prompt on the fly. Now I'll say, instead of a Louis Vuitton purse, change it to Dior. Now select the generate. And now look, it did it. It removed Louis Vuitton and now it says Dior purse. Now just to quickly show you how fast this is gonna work, check this out. I'm gonna come in here and bring in all of these prompts just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy these from my prompt database. Come back down here and now click on the cell and now paste them all in like this. And I wanted to show you something else that's important. You notice how my text isn't wrapped. It looks pretty awful like this. In order to fix this, select the column up here at the top. And now over in the top right hand side, you're gonna see what's called overflow. Click that a few times and now it is on wrap. And now all of my cells are wrapped. So now what we'll do is select all of the columns to the right of this one. Go to actions and now select fill empty cells now. Boom, right away, it's gonna give me one, two, three, four, what is that, five instantly 10X prompts. I just got double the prompts in one click of a button. Now let's take this even further and this is gonna be even more impressive. Let's go ahead and go to a new prompt. Now, this is where this is gonna really take your prompts to a whole new level. And I'm gonna show you a few different ways to do this. I'm gonna open up a column to the right of prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and copy all the text in this cell where it says it's prompts from a cell. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and select the cells we wanna have a prompt improved for. We'll go with these five right here, okay? We have these five cells selected. Again, at the top, select actions. Now, this time, we're gonna going to select magic right. With magic right selected, paste in that prompt I just showed you on the other page. What it's basically instructing Canva to do, assess the prompts on the left-hand side and make them even better. If you like them, go ahead and insert them. And just like that, look, even more prompts. It's very simple. Based on the info in the two columns to the left, write a prompt to generate realistic AI images. Now it did say two columns to the left, so I actually could have put it to the right of the 10X one, and it would have consolidated and made prompts based off of two columns. But for this one, it did a phenomenal job. Now I basically am tripling my prompts, okay? That's the first one. Now let's go ahead and go to the other one. Now what we're gonna do is gonna be even more powerful. We're gonna go to this prompt rewriter one. Go ahead and copy this one. Now I'm gonna create another column. Now you're gonna create as many columns as you want to do this over and over again. I'm saving the magic prompt one because I'm really gonna use a powerful prompt generator right there. But now what we're gonna do is 
Go ahead and title it something else. Okay, I'll name this prompt producer. Now I have that prompt copied. Now let's go ahead and select these five rows. Now action, and now select magic right one more time. And now I'm gonna paste in that other prompt. And what this is basically doing is saying basically the same thing, but with a lot more detail. Look at this right there. Insert, boom, even more, okay? That basically said right up here. It's called the prompt rewriter. And now there we have it. Since I have five cells, it did just that. So again, even more prompts. Now let's do two more things. We're gonna go ahead and take this massive generator one. This is gonna be our final magic prompt, but not quite final yet, because I also wanna show you the one for image reference. Now it is time to go to our magic prompt. Now I like to save this one for last. Remember, it's gonna follow the guideline based on the column that's directly to the most left of it. So I'll go ahead and reference the 10x one. So with magic prompt, all my cells in here, let us go ahead and choose every single row that we want. Now remember, whatever is to the left of this column, it's going to take and use the AI for. We're going to go to actions. We're going to go to magic right again, and now paste in that long prompt again. And now you can see it's going right to work, and it is making these prompts a lot more detailed and thorough and pretty powerful. Wow, look at that. Insert, now look. That is incredible. We went from this very basic prompt in the first column, top fashion model shot, Vogue magazine, to prompt improver, prompt producer, 10x the prompt, but look at the difference. We went from this very basic few word to now utilizing the same exact basic prompt to now we get this massive detailed masterpiece prompt right here. This is really gonna help so much take your prompts to a whole new level. Now, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and use the image reference one. Very simple. It's basically instructing Canva based on the specific image, generate a prompt, that can create this same style of an image. So with this column selected, here's what we're gonna do. I need to make sure I have all of my columns the right way. This is gonna be in column G and row two, okay? So now with this column selected, hit actions. We're gonna do magic right again, paste in the prompt, but let's make sure our rows are the same. We're in row two. I just need to change my actual column. Instead of being column A, it needs to be column G. Now let's go ahead and submit this one. Let's see if it can understand what the image Image is and now look it basically did it it's looking at the image and it's saying create a photorealistic reference image top model okay let's insert that there we go let's make sure it's not cheating because remember it still has all this other information to rely on let's scroll down to the bottom to where there is nothing else in place but now referencing this image right here in fact no let's do it with the modern house one I removed all the prompts for this home right here okay now what we're gonna do is highlight this cell actions and magic right one more time and now it's still going to be in column g but this time it's going to be row four it did it it did it perfectly reference image of a breathtaking architectural scene or landscape there it is right there amazing job if you like this video let me know in the comments below and i'll create some more like this once i can continue discovering more secrets but remember if you like this video please remember to hit that subscribe button because it really does go a long way but until then i'll see you next time